With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, force acting on a body varies with time as shown below. If initial momentum of the body is P, then time taken by the body to retain its momentum P vector again is. So here as we know according to Newton's second law of motion we have here as force is equal to rate of change of momentum. So we can say here that dp vector. So here our dp vector will be equal to f into we can say here as dt. So we can say here that this here area under force versus time graph so this represents integration f dt here represents our area under f t graph so this area under force time graph represents our change in momentum now the question is asking the time taken by the body to retain its momentum p vector again so we can say here this total area shall be equal to zero that is if initial momentum was given to be p vector as mentioned in the question so we have here as final momentum will be also equal to we can say as p vector so initial momentum and final momentum both will be equal to p vector that is same in magnitude as well as direction which here implies that the change in momentum that is delta p which is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum comes out to be zero hence this let's say change in momentum integration of dp vector represents our net change in momentum so net change in momentum becomes zero which implies that the area under the force time graph becomes zero so we can say here that the total area this in the first quadrant will be positive so here to make the total let's say here area to be zero this magnitude of area in the first quadrant shall be equal to our area in the let's say here fourth quadrant so we can say here these two areas a1 and a2 when added up shall let's say sum up to be zero as a1 and a2 are of same magnitude just opposite sign so we can say here they both add up to zero so we can say here this let's say here our distance is suppose x so this distance here is suppose x so we can say here that the change in momentum in this total here time this time shall be equal to zero now we can say here this area a1 when we calculate area a1 we can say which is equal to half of base into height where base we can see here is 4 and height we can see is 1 so here we have area a1 as 2 and in similar manner we can say here our area a2 will be equal to our half of base into height now we can say here that by symmetry that suppose this distance here is our 2 so we can see here this distance is given to be 1 so we can say here this angle is given as theta so this angle shall also be theta that is we can say here tan theta is equal to 1 upon 2 so in similar manner we can see here this height of this a2 triangle can be calculated here as we can see tan theta here which is equal to 1 by 2 comes here as h upon x so tan theta we have here as 1 upon 2 so h here comes out to be our x upon 2 so we have here half of we can say as x into h so this comes as half of x and value of h we have here as x upon 2 hence this comes out here as x square divided by 2 into 2 so this here becomes equal to x square divided by 4 now we can see here these two areas shall be equal so equating these two areas that is a1 equal to a2 so this comes as 2 is equal to we have here as x square by 4 so we can see here this comes out here as our x square is equal to 8 
which implies that x shall be equal to 2 root 2 as it is our side of a triangle so it cannot be negative so this x here is our 2 root 2 so we can see here in total time of 4 plus x that is 4 plus we can say as 2 root 2 second we have here our let's say we can say here total change in momentum shall be equal to we can say as 0 so 4 plus 2 root 2 that is we can see here option number 2 is the correct answer hence we can say here 2 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today